Hey, Cedar Valley. So this past weekend, Pastor Rob led us through a message in John chapter 4. And this week, or this whole season, we're going through the Gospel of John uh, one chapter a week. And next week is going to be chapter 5. And it's really excited. We're hoping that you're joining along. We're adding some thoughts throughout the week to kind of beef up some of our uh, insights on each chapter. And so John chapter 4, I just wanted to give you uh, my quick little thoughts or insights that I, I got through reading this. Uh, Pastor Rob brought us through what what really is like the classic story. This is a good, common, just really iconic way of seeing the way Jesus meets people. And so Jesus meets this Samaritan woman at the well. Samaritan is a different culture group that was actually despised by Jewish people who Jesus was immersed in. And he speaks to her. He sees her past, her sin, her mistakes, her uh everything whatever it is and the fact that she is longing for change longing for real life for fulfillment and Jesus offers it to her saying follow me follow my example let me forgive you and give you the opportunity for a better life and she takes it and is uh it really is an amazing example of what you know as followers of Jesus we have core in our heart of wanting to see people meet Jesus and experience this transformation in their life now there's a caveat I think that we often do where we want people to meet Jesus and experience this transformation and then eventually start kind of looking like us so Cedar Valley like this is one of our things where you know we want people to come in and experience this community of people worshiping and celebrating and loving and experiencing life with Jesus and then start looking like you know the culture of Cedar Valley Church our community even though you know it's something that you might be used to if you've grown up there and had your family and friends and kids there and all that stuff but Jesus actually doesn't instruct that or demand that of the woman he says to leave your life of sin but she's part of a different culture that looks different than Jesus and his disciples and acts different, has different traditions and rituals and everything under the sun. And that kind of stays. And what's really cool at the end of the chapter, you see uh, this woman's testimony and this life change actually impacting her entire subculture, the Samaritans. And so that's just my little thought, you know, however that is as an application. But this idea that don't let somebody's experience of meeting Jesus and their life changing need to have the their life start looking like your life it might be totally different their lifestyles the way they dress and talk and the stuff they do especially in a multicultural area like we live here in western canada uh, doesn't necessitate uh, kind of radical culture change but it does bring life change and away from sin and towards jesus so cedar valley hopefully this is uh, insight keep diving into the word and we'll see you on the weekend